Team iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> got Tim killing it. Come on! <laughs> we got 285 for 8 today. Feeling good, can do it again. <laughs> Leg workout. The Brazil all chicken leg crew, the TRF Nation, CGF Nation. Gotta fuck shit up. I'm not gonna go outside to record you running in the rain. <laughs> Okay, guys, so, um, it's not raining, man, we're fine. We record real quick, and then I'll record us running. Um, it's January 1st here in Texas, and it's really cold. It's probably, like, low 40s, right? Mm, it's going to be, like, 60, what is it? It's going to be 45, that's my guess. It is 45. <laughs> oh, 45 degrees. But, like, the thing is, DJ was saying that he lives in a... Like Kansas, I believe, and it's just like the cold is different here. It's very like humid, and it, it just like hurts. It, it, the cold just really hurts. We're gonna actually like run and warm up, which I never do, um, just to kind of get warm, get some blood going, and hopefully go in and like not have our hands freezing. So here we go. We're gonna go run. That. Nathan's gonna run too. So I'm running with the camera. No, we're gonna set it down. But Dude, where are we can. I was thing? just I was telling. You, is this still recording? Yeah. I was saying that like the new gym. The ceiling is going to be a lot higher, so during the summer it's going to be nice because there's more ventilation, you know, like last summer, this was pretty much just like a heat box because it's, you know, it was 900 square feet of just like heat being trapped in, but it'll be nice during the summer with all the, uh, you know, the fans and the air kind of coming in and out, but um, I'm not sure how it's going to be during the winter. So, yeah, winter workouts suck at the warehouse. I can't imagine living in like anywhere else other than Texas that's colder. Uh, the biggest risk of injury right now at CG Fitness is not working out, it is moving around. All these metal poles and just like wrap everywhere. It's supposed to be moved in December 1st, sorry, January 1st. Still not moved in. Oh, everything's supposed to be ready. Oh, things don't go according to plan. You should make do. Best you can. Can't go any more. Get these quarter reps, guys. Oh, the shoulders going. Get warm.
Me with that. All right, guys. I was like, all right, you gotta ask me my opinion on New Year's resolution, but we can keep it real with y'all and not stage anything. Ah, oh, it's cold. We never stage anything. Yeah, it's usually, just like on the fly, we do shit. But uh, holy, I haven't said anything. Man, it's it is cold. It's colder in here than outside right now. So we should probably open that up. But... Probably. But uh, I, you guys don't hear me like go on rants about like New Year's resolutions and New Year's Eve. You know what I mean? Because like, in my opinion, it's it's just another day, you know, January 1st or New Year's Eve is like, it's just another day. And I, I hate how like, yesterday I went to the mall, which was January 1st, and to get some stuff. And I'm like, man, why is everything closed? You know, it's the first business day back in the year. We should be fired up. We should be like already working towards our goals. But instead, everyone takes the day off. And it doesn't really make sense to me how society kind of works like that. But you know what I mean? It's like, you just made all these resolutions and on the very first day of the year, it shouldn't be a rest day. You should be like up and going and like, you know, putting in the work and putting in the work. But... No one wants to do that. Everything's closed, everything's shut down, taking a relaxing day, and then they kind of get back into it, and then they'll start. And like, to me, it's just, you should have that New Year's mentality every day, and I'm not saying like, I'm not saying that, oh, I don't have any things I want to improve, because me personally, I do. I think that, you know, the New Year's resolution is getting back in the gym or going to the gym, I think it's great. I think, you know, as more experienced lifters and stuff, we need to be supportive. You need to, you know, if you see someone doing something terribly wrong, you know, help them, you know, guide them. If you, you know, you'd want someone to help you if you had no idea what you're doing. Um, on that same token, don't be like, kind of like snobby about it. Maybe just, you know what I mean? Just be nice, be a good person and um, encourage it. Don't be like, go to the gym and be like, God, all these stupid people around using my equipment and stuff that they're not here all year. Um, be helpful and just like you would want someone to be helpful if you were trying to do something that you weren't already comfortable with. And uh, a second point would be, you always like, you know, January, everything's packed, you know, but by February, everyone's kind of died down. And I'm talking about like more gym resolutioners. Everything's kind of died down. So be sure whatever your goal is that you're trying to get better at, you know, whether it be the gym or, you know, being more productive at work or being a better husband or whatever, I mean, boyfriend, whatever it is, uh, stay consistent, you know, don't set these huge expectations for yourself and then be overwhelmed and just, you know, give up a month later. Be sure you're setting realistic goals and, you know, slowly getting better at them. And you're not going to be, you're not going to go from zero to a hundred in 24 hours because, you know, from January 1st to December 31st, it doesn't happen like that. Just be sure you're steadily increasing and um, working towards whatever it is you're working towards. So guys, I lied to you earlier. It's uh, it's now 9 p.m. and uh, we're just starting the workout. The last clip you saw was about 1 to 1:15 p.m. But see what happened was I kind of like took a few sips after workout. Nathan drank all of it. That's his problem. <laughs> and then we got on the bench, man, and I just wasn't feeling it. You know, I just. I, I, my mind wasn't right, and I was, I was really hungry. My hunger was really building up because it was getting kind of later in the day. Hadn't really eaten anything. And I was like, you know what, man? I have to eat. You know, I, I can't work out if I'm, if I'm feeling hungry. So, went to go grab Chipotle, had a huge burrito, <laughs> and then uh, did some work on mine. Then went to go watch a movie with my parents, or with my dad and my brother. We went to go see um, Unbroken. And now we're back to the gym. So, it's now 9 p.m. Kind of put it off all day, but back in here working hard and getting it done. So I'm feeling really good now. Now that I have food, I have more water in me and uh, just mentally feeling the zone now. So it's Friday night, 9 p.m. We're here putting in the work because we were supposed to earlier. So we're still getting it done today and not putting it off till tomorrow. <sighs> Gotta get the thumbnail right here. Can make sure I'm this was my favorite workout song growing up. Like 100%. Trap, headstrong. 
Just in my stomach. Is that poking out? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, push. Ah. Whew, feels good. This is Nathan's idea. We're gonna do some Sven presses. S-V-E-N-D. Grabbing three tens right here. Put our hands on both sides. Come right here. Squeeze. Go higher. I like kind of like a higher angle. Ugh. <sighs> 